What's up guys and gals, welcome to the next episode of Warhammer Quest where we are just coating this entire dungeon in blood like buckets of the stuff. Seriously, we bring all kinds of buckets of blood everywhere we go. Warriors come across a halfling blindly wandering the passages of the dungeon. Oh yeah, he wants to give us lunch. Let's wait for an hour because we have a lot of wounded people and so we'll get health back. We will, however, get attacked by the way. I don't know if I brought that up properly, but a lot of our people needed like 10 health so I figured it might help. Plus, the undead don't mean nothing to me, because I got Bane of the Undead. Wait and see. Here we go. Oh, look at that. You just got burned to death with the power of light. Oh, you too. Look at you getting all burned up by the power of light. How do you feel right now? Bane of the Undead. Oh, look. We're going to kill the boss with the power of light, too. That sucks to be you. It's a little bit better than the power of love. It's the power of light. It's like one of those old 80s tracks that showed up like in every random like summer blockbuster. Usually by Huey Lewis in the news. Let's see here. There's something infectious about Huey Lewis in the news. I don't know. Although they slightly set... Was that the thing that... In American Psycho, that was the band that he really liked, wasn't it? Huey Lewis in the news. That sort of set me off Huey Lewis in the news. But it's not their fault. It's just the serial killer's fault. That was a really, really quick combat because, frankly, we have the ultimate weapon of light and destruction against the undead. The only way this could go worse is if, like, they attacked us multiple turns in a row and he somehow ran out of willpower and was no longer able to channel his righteous fury in the direction of... I wish I could channel righteous fury. How awesome would that be if you were just up at GameStop and the guy at the counter is being a dick and you could just be like, Hyah! and, like, focus your righteous fury, like, fury right between his eyes. It would be great. I don't get mad, though. The dudes at, like, dudes at GameStop don't get paid enough to care. I used to work for minimum wage. I know how it goes. They didn't pay me enough to care, so I don't blame other people for not getting paid enough to care. I'd be like, eh. They pay me $4.08 an hour. I don't care. They barely pay me enough to show up. They pay me just enough to show up. Therefore, I'm going to show up but not care for the remainder of the day. Let's see here. Part of the reason, like business owners... Treat your employees well, and they'll treat your customers and clientele well. Pay them like a dog, and well, you get what you put in, I suppose. Let's go over here. We'll get people into position. I like, I wonder who does all the floors in here. They all seem to be very, very similar. They've all got kind of like a jointing pattern. Like somebody jumped too hard on top of like a really, really old mud cake. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me anyways. This is a good hallway to get jumped in. And by a good hallway to get jumped in, I mean a bad hallway to get jumped in. It depends, it depends up if you're looking at it from, like, stage left perspective or, like, you know, if you're looking at the stage or if you're on stage, you know what I mean. Into the combat! More, oh, good, this one has orc boys involved. I don't want, there we go. So now, I'm actually gonna try, oh, they have so many error boys. Okay, so, I'm gonna try and pin down at least these two for the moment. And if he can get his death blows off, that would be fantastic. However, I mean, I'm not... He has a strong blessing right now. Scourge of Chaos increases hit chance, right? There's too many arrows here. Let's go ahead and do Scourge of Chaos. There's so many arrows on the field right now that I'd rather... Man, that is the worst ability ever. Like, seriously, it is awful. Like, I hope that someday it becomes useful because as of right now, it is the worst thing that I have ever seen. I shouldn't have done that. I should have walked up and attacked over here. That is just the worst ability. I'm thinking about swapping him back out for somebody else because, frankly, whoever designed that ability totally dropped the ball. It is the worst. There is no reason for it to exist. Like, you have a random chance every turn to get a crappy buff that may or may not crappily affect everyone with its crappy crappiness. <laughs> it's the worst buff ever, too. It doesn't even do anything. Like, well, you get one weapon skill. Congratulations and hooray for your extra 5% chance to hit. Or you get like an extra 5% chance to dodge. It's like nothing. I'm actually okay with what's happening to our Troll Slayer right now. However, that... Oh, shit. Okay, so that becomes an issue. We have a Vampire Thrall around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there he is. It looks like he's got some kind of like laser beam thing that he does. I don't know. I'm gonna Bane of the Undead everybody around here because that'll handle like 90% of these ads. There we go. And then I would also prefer it if you done did that. Save a little bit for him, though. He's kind of scary looking. And then move yourself into here. I'm going to try and migrate everybody into this room so that he loses his line of sight. 
and can't use it. Right here it says he has a magic attack, so I'd rather not find out what that is firsthand. I'd rather wait it out and just sort of see. On this side, we've got no winds of magic, and we already used the gray college hat, so unfortunately we are going to be on our own on this turn. He got a death blow on his first go. His second go... His third go, wow, he is not in the mood for orcs today. It's like being in the mood for love. I'm in the mood for orcs. That's like all the, it's like a, it's a popular song in the Warhammer world. A very popular song. So I'm going to move him over to here and maybe do something. Yay, one buff. One terrible, awful buff that made him still miss. Hooray for us. Well, I'm going to move him out of the way then because that vampiric thrall kind of worries me. And I would prefer to not be enthralled right now. There we go. He managed to take out his zombie, so that's fine. As long as the zombie's out of the way, I'm 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 happy with it. The for the for these guys being archers, they're ridiculously good. Oh, okay. So he just has like an AOE attack, I guess. And to be fair, he got the right person. Yeah. What did Death Shriek do? Or or is he back? Because it's not on his list of status effects right now. There we go. So he's down. That means we can bring our Troll Slayer around. You got any Winds of Magic on this turn? Oh, yeah, you got a bunch of Winds of Magic. Give him the Finger of Life! <laughs> it's just a middle finger. That's all that it is. It's the Finger of Life. Like, don't be offended. It's tr I'm trying to heal you right now. Like, I'm, I'm still pretty sure that I'm offended. I'm still pretty sure that you're insulting me in one way or another. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> but I'm still offended. Ow! He's, oh, he gets to attack twice, too. Jesus. Okay, so that's bad. Let's Finger of Life the Dwarf. Which is gonna fail. It is a 50-50, to be fair. It's a 50-50. You're gambling for big... Oh, man. Alright, well, it's nice to know that my bad luck continues. Jesus Christ. Okay, so somebody get over here and do your damn job. <laughs> oh, my God. Really, like, do I have to rely on, if we're fighting undead, do I have to rely on this guy entirely? Nobody else is even near proficient at killing the undead? Alright, whatever. Just finish his punk ass off. I'm sure he's worth a lot of XP or something. Oh good, we got another steak. We were hungry for dinner, so that'll work. Let's end the turn. We have been attacked a lot of times in this dungeon. Like, seriously, this dungeon is turning into, like, this never-ending crawl that just will not go away. Okay, I'm starting to hate Finger of Life with a passion. There it goes. There it goes. You just gotta kinda like, get it into position to work. I keep forgetting that it is a 50-50 though, and that is a really, really low chance for something to work. I think you're probably... The problem is, if you spend one more magic power, you get yourself a healing breeze, or a healing mist, but the healing mist can heal for one, which is then like a giant waste of your resources. Hopefully he gets all of his resources back. In the next little bit. Getting attacked in this room by orcs would be the worst thing ever because they'll have a bunch of archers and then we will have a, an entire turn where we have to close the gap with them. It will be bad for us. I would prefer to move forward into a different room before this gets out of hand. Let's go. There. Oh man, this room is not as turny as I was hoping it would be. I would hope it, I was hoping it would have like an elbow in the room where I could get behind cover if I needed to. Alas, it doth not. Alright, looks like his resolve is all fixed up. So clutch. So clutch. The Witch Hunter is so good. I may swap out, I don't know, I may swap him out for an archer or something. Just because I don't feel like he's useful. Like, I feel like what he brings to the party is not worth the effort. So like in this room, we're going to give it one more try with the Scourge of Chaos here. And see, sometimes, see, now that he knows he's on point... He decided he needed to step his game up, and he's like, Alright, well, everybody's been mad at me lately because I haven't been doing my job properly. So let me go ahead and, like, attack everybody on the battlefield here for a second. Ooh, that's a good position for you. I like that. He said in a weird, vaguely sexual way. Let's put this over here. Giggity! Let's go right here. We'll stab that guy. And I don't like spiders, so since that one's not connected, I'm just going to shoot him so that all these guys are death blow connected. On this side, I feel like this is an amazing opportunity over here somewhere to use... Let's go with Shadow Bolt, I guess, right there. We'll clean the room out, lickety-splickety. And on this side, we'll cleave a couple people down. Oh, man. Ah, the misses in this game. The misses. 
All right, well, as long as we don't suffer any ads to live, we should be fine. There's the death leap right there. He'll regenerate. I totally don't care at all whenever he gets bitten because he tends to regenerate faster than anything could kill him anyways. It's rare in this game that you suffer sustained attacks for multiple turns in a row. Why would we need a River Troll's Adrenaline Gland? That seems invasive and unnecessary. It seems like a piece of loot that you just wouldn't even bother bringing along. Maybe it's a drug in this world. Be like, mm -hmm. you got any Adrenal Gland? Ain't nothing I love like rubbing some Adrenal Gland on my gums. Mm -hmm. I feel so adrenally. Let's go over here. There we go. Do you have a lot of magic right now? If you are flush with magic, feel free to use some of your oozing excess on our dwarf. There we go. Give me some time to blow the man out. I've had that song stuck in my head for like a week now. It's a weird song to have stuck in your head in the modern world. Your warriors enter what appears to be some kind of ad hoc. Oh, it's the same thing as before, just with the name swapped around. Oh, good. We get an orc shaman. Let's see here. Will you stop doing that? I'm clicking and trying to drag, not clicking and holding on an orc. Give me some time to blow the man down. Oh, he's got six winds of magic? Well then, that changes things. Now, done it. You have a strong blessing at the moment. Let us use forth the call of the brave. And the call of the brave was a complete and utter failure. All right. Let's actually, let's get some work done right here. We have things to accomplish. I shoot you, wizard. Okay, that didn't work either. All right, well, at least he's got like a turn full of goodies to unleash on the enemy. We haven't used our lightning ring yet. I'm sorry, our lightning fire ring. Wow, that's a cool graphic. I like that. That made me happy. And then we shall feed them the shadow bolts as well. Get ourselves into a magical. He deflected my magic? Like Goku in the... Oh, that's not okay. He just said, you know that scene in Dragon Ball Z where they spend like an episode charging up the like Kamehameha and then they fire it and then the other guy's just like, Wah! and back he backhands it off to the side and it blows up an entire mountain. It was totally worth it. Totally worth it. I almost bypassed my turn right there. I almost made a major mistake. I think he's probably just going to clear everybody out on this side. Yeah, let's take it. So since you've done that, I'm going to put him into the front. We're doing pretty well right now. Barring ads, we should be okay. Ah, he got zero power. Now, at least the enemy suffers from the same malfunctions that I do. Like, it just it, it just didn't go off. I don't know. Don't look at me like that. I'm trying as hard as I can. It's just the winds of magic aren't with me. I'm like, yeah, sure, buddy. Whatever you need. I could take you to the pharmacy if you need to. We can get this fixed. Yeah. Eat hammer. Also, eat my call of the brave. I like how it's a lion. Apparently, lions are considered to be brave. I'm going to give you a little hint, though. Lions aren't legitimately brave. They're brave because they're like 3,000 pound jungle cats that like murder you. If I was a 3,000 pound individual capable of having retractable claws and chewing most animals to death, I would not be afraid of anything either. That's not bravery. That's called having a better skill set than everybody else. Anyways, they're not jungle cats. They're savanna cats. I felt like I needed to addend that right now. Because if I don't, I'll get a comment later on. Somebody would be like, actually, biologically, the genus that they're part of Every single time. Every single time. That's the end of combat, isn't it? Who's left? Oh, this asshole over here. Okay. Go stab him in the face, wizard. I'm not much in the mood for stabbing today. I kind of just want to eat some soup. Or like some cereal. I don't know. Soup, cereal, whatever. Alright, so we saved the... We saved the Thatcher. And, oh man, it gave us a different one. After your warriors slay the remnants of the beasts, they quickly rush over to the body in the small cell. They quickly identify that it is indeed the Thatcher. Thorger Maddox bashes the primitive cell lock and clumsily rips the door off its hinges. The motionless body in the cell suddenly springs to life and sits up. Oh, thank you. I've been stuck in this cell for days. I thought I'd never see light again. My name is Thaddeus Dietmaringen and I'm a Thatcher. That's a lot of syllables in your last name, especially if it's Diet Marignan. That means you got all kinds of crazy shit going on. I am truly thankful and you have saved my life, but I have nothing to give you, no gold. They look disappointed, but help the Thatcher out of his cell and guide him to the door. Welcome to my life. I'm such an altruistic nice guy. Hopefully we got some good XP from this, because if we didn't, it's totally not going to be worth the effort. Alright. There's something about killing the undead that causes him to level up much more rapidly than everybody else. His ability to single-handedly clear an entire room of assholish undead. Just makes him pretty much indisposable for most of these missions. I like him. I like having him around. He's enjoyable. Oh man, what happened over here? 
Wait, what happened? There was definitely a little event flag right there. Oh, well. I want to find out what he gets when he levels up. Hopefully it's something good. He got an extra melee attack. That's it? The Witch Hunter, breaking from pinning, slips through the shadows and moves to a random empty space within his movement range. That could be nice if he's pinned, so he's got like a shadow step or whatever. That works. It's slightly useful. I may swap out him. I'm just not seeing the usefulness in him being around. Like, he really does kind of suck. Like, I may put in either the Way Watcher or... Like, the Shadow Warrior or even the Blues... Like, even the Iron Gut is like really nice to have around. Or even Auto Cinder Mark would be nice to have around. Like, having another mage is never a bad thing. So I'm a little bit at a loss right now as to whether his, his ability seems really, really lackluster. It never seems to work when I want it to. I don't know. Maybe I'll look up, maybe at the end of this episode I'll look up his skill set and we'll see like what he gets later on as he levels. Maybe he's one of those characters you kind of have to level into. But for right now, I'm really, really unimpressed with the Warrior Priest. And it's doubly disappointing for me because Warrior Priests are like my favorite thing in Warhammer Fantasy. The Robes of the Grey College. Doesn't he already have those? I think we already have those. Do we have the Robes of the Grey College? Hold on. I think we got those in like our first mission. We have the Vestments of Shadow. We don't have the Robes of the Grey College. Can he wear both though? Because if they both count as armor... Yeah, they both count as armor. That gives plus one to power. I think his other one is better. Let's give the storyline quest another go. We'll see what happens over here. Last time we got flushed out of this place like hard. This place seriously beat us inside out the last time we came here. The Fungus Forest. En route to their next destination, the warriors pass through a fungus forest. It is a wood where the trees are infested with a chromatic array of mushrooms in all manner of shapes and sizes. Salskrin Whiteblood decides against the judgment of his peers to eat a mushroom. Let's go with the short red with white spots. That's Mario Brothers. Choop, choop, choop. Ba -da -do 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 -do. Oh, he got plus two strength. Awesome for you, buddy. Unfortunately, you're not coming on the adventure. So everybody actually technically comes with us. It's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah, I don't know if I want to bring him anymore. He just doesn't seem like he helps us that much. I mean, maybe it's just because he doesn't have any equipment or anything, but I would prefer somebody else that's a bit more useful. Eh, I'll do it after this episode if that's the case. I'll fix it later. Apparently, size does matter. Filbert Lightdorf has requested that your party retrieve the Boots of Stature, their prized heirloom stolen from his family by Orc Marauders when Vorgaz Ironjaw killed his grandfather. I think we already read this. Pretty sure we already read this. Let's go ahead and get people into position. As per usual, we will follow in our normal formation as much as they complain about this all the time. There's something weird about it that they don't like. They feel like it promotes bad luck or something. I, they're very, very superstitious. A river troll? Oh, shit. That's problematic. Alright, well, river troll. I'm... Let's lightning fire ring it, I guess. There, we did 14. It's not much, but it's something. And then with the remainder of his magic, how far can you move, actually? You can get to the troll. Okay, so I'm going to try and take this troll out on the first turn. I don't know if it's going to work like that, but I'm going to give it the old college try, maybe. He's got six attacks. It would be pretty amazing if he couldn't kill it in six attacks. However, the enemy does have a considerable amount of weapon skill, so things to be aware of. With seven weapon skill, that means we have less than a 50% chance to hit. We have a 45% chance to hit. And so out of six attacks, we miss five times. So as you can see, sometimes sometimes probability does not work the way you want it to, I guess would be the way that I would follow up. Trolls are a big problem in this game. They actually need to be like touched up and changed a tad because at the moment, they're pretty much indestructible unless you've got a whole bunch of like extra stuff laying around. And levels don't really matter either because their attack skill, their weapon skill of seven is so absurdly high that... It makes you wonder, like, what you could do in the first place to maybe fix this. I got nothing right there. I guess I could try and get, like, a Call of the Brave. Well, at least it worked that time. Give us a little bit of extra dodge chance in the hopes that possibly we won't get just nailed by that thing. There we go. He managed to miss. He will one-shot characters if he actually gets the opportunity to do so. On this side, if I can guarantee damage, I know people aren't going to like what I'm doing right now. But if I can guarantee the damage, I would prefer to do it. There we go. And then let's see what we can do right here. Okay. So that leaves... 
I'm going to move him out of the way. And we're going to try and get this under control. Now, he's got two attacks left. His weapon skill hasn't gone up in a while, though, so... I can't promise he's actually going to be able to accomplish anything right here. The additional problem is I think this thing regenerates sometimes. I'm not sure. Let's go for Scourge of Chaos, I guess. I should have done that at the beginning of the turn, but whatever. Too late now to worry about. I'm going to give you another Blade of Night. He got two more attacks. All right. Well, you're up to six now. There it is. He managed to kill off the troll. Trolls are like a big, big problem in this game. I remember when I used to play when I was younger, like when trolls show up, you're just like, oh shit. Because you know your adventure is essentially probably over, like you brace yourself for it. Because trolls are much more suscept like susceptible to like bad rolls. Like the defensive rolls of a troll are really, really sort of like a buzz kill. Ah, right about the time I try to leave. Okay, that's okay. I don't really like hate it that much. It's weird that he doesn't get winds of magic every time we get ambushed. Have you noticed that? He doesn't get whenever we get ambushed, we don't get winds of magic. He'll get death blow right here though, hopefully, and manage to like fight off the enemy. On this side, what I would prefer would be for you to kill that. And if you can manage it, that puts our slayer in a much better position to like run up in here and start just like cleaving fools. I don't know if they're foolish. I have no idea what the parameters are for their overall judgment we'll go ahead and stab out a couple times right here god we are having just the worst luck today there we go got him right there finally the problem I think is that a lot of characters get multiple attacks but they don't actually necessarily get better weapon skill so they basically learn to like flurry like a novice non-stop let me see if I can clear a hole right there awesome there's one thing I know I enjoy it's clearing holes on this side, let's go ahead and I'm actually going to Shadow Daggers this guy to death if I can. I don't know if it's going to work like that, but I'm going to give it a go. You can do a lot of damage with Shadow Daggers. Don't underestimate it. Like, seriously, you can do a lot of damage with it because you can stack so many of them. It's a good way to get, like, 14 damage off and also get all of your attacks. So just, like, things to think about. I could Shadow Dagger on that side, but I hit my own character. Now... He's inside the parameters he would need to actually kill that character. And so the wizard is a really, really good character. The The fire mage is equally as good. The only difference is that he has no utility. He's pretty much like 100%. Actually, no, he does. He has a couple utility spells where he can like put a wall of smoke in between you and the enemy and stuff like that. But by and large, he's got a little bit less utility than this mage right here. And plus, his variety of utility is a little bit better in my opinion. I like the fact that this character right here can heal people. It's a big deal to me. If I put you right there, how many winds of magic did you get? Because this is a room that is just like primed for us to throw a shadow bolt into it and just laugh. Yeah, let's throw a shadow bolt in here and then have our guffaws at the enemies. Oh man, I feel like the enemy is guffawing at me now. Alright, well I'll move you over to here. We'll shadow dagger. Handle a couple more enemies. And then now that you are... Oh, he's out of movement. Okay, I didn't expect that. I'm gonna start with him up here. There we go, his death blow. He didn't manage to make the second swing though. That's okay though. I don't like to ask too much of my characters every now and again. If they do something Excelsior every now and again, that's cool. Actually, get rid of the spiders if you can't. Really? You missed the spiders, huh? All right. Well, that's okay, maybe he'll get them. Either way, this room has too many enemies in it. And so if we can't get rid of some of them, we're actually in a bad position for a respawn. So if we get a spawn at the end of this, it puts us in a very, very unlucky position to be attacked while webbed and a bunch of other horrible, you know, random side effects. Since he's now pinned, I need to dig him out of the combat with our big bad hero over here with a gun. Our Johnny Gat, if you were. Don't tell him I called him the Johnny Gat of the room, though. We get a big head about it. I guess I'll just come down into here, and I'll probably save that magic to heal somebody after we kill off this bat. I don't see any way that after three attacks, he's not going to be able to kill the bat. Should be fine. We got another elixir of strength. All right. I like venderables. I mean, I don't tend to use the random consumables as much as some people might. Although I will admit, they might be helpful now that we're out of combat. I don't know. Does anybody have an empty, like, inventory spot? If you've got an empty inventory spot, you might as well throw it in there just in case. Who knows when we'll have to use it. I mean, I don't know if I should give potions of strength to a non-melee character. It seems like it might be a risk. Maybe give them to him in the odd chance that he needs to use them. 
I would actually ha rather have you have a hawk and a bandage instead of the stone bread. The stone bread is nice as like a backup item, but by and large, the stone bread takes too long to be useful. So there it is. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Warhammer Quest. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care, everybody, and hi-do.